Welcome to another video tutorial. This tutorial is about recording games for free. In this video tutorial, we're going to go over um, basically how to record uh, video games for free. Uh, there are paid programs out there. Uh, Fraps is one of them. Um, my personal favorite is Merlis Action. Um, but these are all paid for software. You have to actually go out and buy it. Um, do these work better than the freeway? Uh, that That's going to be personal preference. Uh, Yes, in some parts and no in others. Um, me, I've used all uh, a lot of different ones. I've used Fraps, uh, OBS, XSplit, uh, Razors. Uh, I've used uh, Merlis Action and a few others. Uh, out of all of them, for page scripts, Merlis Action. This is the one I recommend going with. Um, it's definitely worth buying. Uh, great little program. Um, so let's uh, close that. Now, we're here to talk about a free way for you guys to do it. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what is a Razor one I'm talking about, it's Razor's Cortex. Um, which is meh. Uh, if I'm going for the Game Booster, I'm going to use iOrbit's Game Booster. To me, this is by far the best one. You don't need an account. You don't need to log in. Uh, unfortunately, the latest one is now Razer's Game Booster. Uh, or iOrbit, I guess, gave it to them or traded or partnered up or whatever. But... I still have the original Game Booster V3.4. This is the last version that iOrbit did. And uh, I love it. Great little program. And it was 100% free. And I still have it for you guys, 100% free. Um, it will be in the download section of our uh, my website, headshotdomain.net. So back to this, let's open up OBS. This is OBS. You guys probably heard me mention OBS in the past. And uh, you may be wondering, what is OBS? OBS is Open Broadcast Center. Or, sorry, system. Open Broadcast System, I think it is. A uh, software. Close enough. At least I caught myself here. But it is 100% free. Um, and to me, for streaming... Uh, do, do, do. I, I personally think OBS is best. Uh, but there's always going to be people that will say XSplit's better. That, you want to say, to me, XSplit is designed for basic usage. OBS allows you to customize it a bit more. But everybody's going to have their own. It's all opinion based. Uh, but for my this video I am doing OBS because it's what I know it's what I've been using um, and it's 100% free uh, so you come here and you'll notice there's uh, OBS Classic and OBS Studio you're going to want to get OBS Studio um, the reason why they have still the classic, even though it hasn't been updated since last year, last November, is because there are still people that like OBS Classic. Uh, but we're going to go with OBS Studio. That is what we're going over today. So you're going to want to download whatever version you have, Windows, Mac, or Linux. Me, I'm running the Windows 10 version. So once you've downloaded OBS and got it installed, uh, essentially, you're not going to have anything here. Uh, it's going to look like that for the most part. And these are going to be, the scenes and sources will be empty. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that. First thing 
is first. You're going to want to uh, set up the settings. So you click on File, and we come to Settings. Uh, under General, you can uh, it should be like this. Uh, me, I like the dark theme best, so I'm going with dark, and uh, that's pretty much it. I I think all this is else is basic. Uh, you're not going to need to worry about stream. Uh, this is only if you're going to be streaming to like Twitch or uh, any of the other things. I stream to Twitch, so I do that. Output. This is where you're going to want to come to after you finish up general. You come to output. Uh, keep it in simple mode. Video built bitrate, 3500 software encoding. But this is all for streaming. Uh, I don't think the encoder here really uh, affects the recording, but very fast is good. Recording. This is where you're going to want to get in. First thing, recording. This is going to be your file path of where your videos are going to go to. Um, usually that is if you click on the start button, and if you have a videos folder, or you click on this PC, as you can see, here's the videos right here. And as you can see, I don't have any MP4s, and yeah, I have X, XSplit here, but I don't have XSplit on my computer anymore. I've already uninstalled it. But as I said before, I have used XSplit. So we're going to close that. We're going to keep that default, uh, but you can change it to wherever you want. Record quality. I have it set as CMS stream because, well, I'm a streamer. But, for you guys, your best bet is probably come to indistinguishable quality. It's going to be a large file size, but it's going to keep it pretty good. Recording format. Change this to MP4. Uh, you don't want an FLV, and yeah, don't know much about the other ones. I know MOV and MKV, but f since we're going to be dealing with YouTube, MP4 is where you want to be. Encoder. Well, depending on what operating system and what you have for hardware and that, you may have some graphics uh, acceler uh, stuff in your graphics that will allow you to use a different encoder. But me, I'm going to stick with software X264. Now that we have that, we're going to click Apply. And let's come down to the audio. Here's your audio right here. Desktop audio, it probably will be default. Uh, to whatever you have down in your audio settings down here if you come to playback devices um, It should probably already be default, but if not desktop audio, of course set up whatever you want uh, Mic you can set up to your mic me I have it set up to a special output that I have for my streaming my broadcasting because I run different programs to clean up the audio and help keep it all in sync and whatnot and to eliminate background noise because, well, OBS still has not gotten a good uh, system in for that. Um, so, if anybody from OBS watches this, please do something about that. Um, but, okay, we come down to video. And inside video, you'll see base canvas resolution. That is going to be what your modern resolution is at. Um, you can always come to display settings if you don't know what it is, and uh, I, I forgot what it is. I think it's under advanced. Yep, advanced. Right here, resolution 1920 by 1080. Um, I think it might be under personalized also not really sure uh, but I I know this my resolution here is 1920 by 1080 and that's why I have the base canvas resolution at 1920 by 1080 output scale resolution since I am a streamer I do downsize it because well if I streamed at 1920 by 1080 it, it's going to be a lot of information going out to those people so I downscale to 1280 by 720 uh, for uh, putting a video up on YouTube 
uh, I don't know. You might be best to uh, downscale to 1920 by uh, uh, 1280 by 720 if you are at 1920 by 1080. Uh, down uh, scaling will make the size of the file, of course, going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, it will still be in uh, HD 720 uh, on YouTube. Uh, so that's all. That's good right there. Uh, common FPS value is going to set it at 30. Downscale filter, bilinear, fastest, but blurry of scaling. Um, actually, sorry, I use this one. Lancezos, Lancezos. I don't know. Uh, sharpen scaling, 32 samples, and then just click apply. Now we come down to advanced. Yes, I know I skipped skipped hotkeys, but we're going to get to that in a sec. Rendering. This this is going to be a little bit difficult. Me, I use Direct 3D 11. And I have OpenGL uh, available, but may I rather use Direct3D 11. Video adapter, uh, you may have something in there. Uh, of course, you're not you're not going to have these two options. Me, I'm running AMD with an R9 uh, XFX R9 390 uh, DD Black Edition, which is uh, an eight gigabyte graphic card. And that's why I have like the Direct 3DL 11 and OpenGL. You guys may have other uh, hardware. You may be NVIDIA, so you may have something different. So select whatever you want to try. Uh, I'm using Direct 3D 11. Uh, color format, uh, color space, and all that I'm going to leave as what it is there. Uh, pretty much everything else is uh, okay. So... Uh, let me cancel that. And uh, of course, I left out the shortcut. Um, let me get back there. Uh, so let's go to hotkeys. Now, as you can see, here's start and stop streaming, uh, start and stop recording, studio mode transition. We're going to want to start with studio, uh, start and stop recording. I'm going to sit there and select. I'm going to say, uh, let's do um, left control plus uh, num minus. Actually, I want to do a uh, plus for start, and we're going to do control num minus for stop recording. Of course, you can sit there and uh, toggle this so it's uh, the same keys for both. Uh, which I just did there, which now all I have to do is hold left control and hit the plus and it will start recording. I, I hit it a second time and it will stop. So I click uh, apply, click OK. Now, you're going to have a view like this. What we're going to want to do is uh, you can either just come down here, right click and click add, or you can click on the plus. I'm going to just click on the plus and I'm going to do this one since this is just a demo. Uh, I'm going to do demo and we're going to name this one WOWS for World of Warships. And now that's there under sources we're going to want to right click and we're going to add and we're going to find game capture. Create new we're going to call this one GC dash demo slash WOWS. There we go. And as you can see, it's not showing up anything. And before we go continue on, just let, give you a heads up. I do not play World of Warships in full screen, even though once you see me start it, it's going to look like it's in full screen. What I actually do is I play the game in what is called full screen windowed mode. And the reason why I do that is because I am a streamer. <clears throat> is there any other reason to do it? Not really. But I do it because I want to be able to do this. And uh, be able to sit here and work on this and still have the game in the background. So let's come back here. 
And uh, if I have this checked, you won't see anything there. And of course, that's not going to be there. Yeah. Sorry uh, about that. I just have to come back in and fix this. And now it should show up. Yep, there it is right there. And now it's showing up. Capture any full screen application. If, you, if you're running the game full screen, you'll be able to find it. But since I'm not, I had to uncheck that. Now I find World of Warcraft, uh, World of Warships in the drop down. Um, and then I'm going to use, uh, of course, uh, use anti cheat compatibility hook. And I'm going to uncheck capture cursor. What does that do? Well, if I leave capture cursor on, as you can see, no matter where I move my mouse, you'll see my cursor. Well, if I don't want that, just come back to properties uncheck capture cursor no what no matter where i move the cursor you no longer see it on the screen so now that we have that let's uh close the game and we're actually good to go so now what i'm going to do is since i don't like having that that big i'm going to drop that down and let me come back over here. Let's actually record a little bit. Games, World of Warships, and it's under Replace. Let's go to my very first match in the Haruna. And now that this is going, let me get this up. Remember what I said is control minus to start and stop this. I'm actually going to move this to my other monitor. So I can see it, but I'll let you guys know if it is streaming or whatnot. Uh, lag and whatnot may happen because of, uh, I am recording in, going to be actually recording both in uh, using my capture that I'm doing right now. Um, and OBS. So here, control. Would help if I actually press the right thing. And yep, it is recording right now. I see it. It just switched from start recording to now say stop recording. And we're just going to record a little bit of this match. I'm speeding up a little bit. I think I actually get my butt kicked this match.
That was actually a pretty good volley right there against that guy. Yeah, and this is where I, I'm going to sink because I got hit by three torps. Cue the Titanic music. Oh, okay. There goes my ship, my beautiful ship. And the video is over, so let me hit control. And then plus again, and there we go. We stopped the recording. Now, if we want to go see that uh, recording, I just click on show recording. And as you can see, it's right here. I double click on that. And as you can see, the recording quality is quite well. And of course, like I said, you may see some jumping and whatnot because, of course, I have uh, several other programs open. I have uh, Sony Vegas right here, which, like, if I was going to take this video right here and post it to you guys, what I would do is just sit there and uh, bring it over to Sony Vegas drag and drop it in and of course do my edits right here and then render it as is but I could actually post this on YouTube as is so uh, let me uh, close that and I also have Camtasia that's what I'm recording with right now so I had three different video programs going on I, I'm recording I was recording twice and as as you can see I mean the video quality is still decent for recording two sessions at the same time I'm recording of a recording so I mean that's pretty good so um, I mean OBS to me is a great program. It's somewhat lightweight and I don't know how long this uh, video was but as you can see it is 112 megabytes. Um, let me see if I can uh, get more details out of it. For a 2 minute and 10 second video at that quality it's only uh, as you can see frame height 720 frame width uh, 1280. That's because I downscaled it. Uh, it's still only 112 megabytes. Now, if we were using Fraps, that would be like 3 gigs for worse quality than OBS. So, in conclusion, that's how you would record with OBS at a free uh, as a free program. And you can set it up for different games. Hell, if you want, you can record your screen. Uh, you can set up your webcam if you have a webcam as you can see uh, With h1z1. That's where my webcam goes. You can do overlays. There's so much you can do and it's all just setting up different things um, On your screen So uh, I hope this video helps some of you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask over on my website, headshotdomain.net, right inside the forums. Yes, you do need to be registered on the website. Um, links to the programs that you see here, with the exception of Sony Vegas and blah, blah, blah whatnot. Uh, but the programs that I've used, uh, like Merlis Action, and I'll put in OBS and whatnot, I will put the links inside there. Uh, inside the forum post on my website uh, if you're coming to this video there will be a link in the description to the forum thread uh, where you'll be able to get the links from um, if you like this video uh, stop by YouTube and like it um, if this video tutorial was helpful for you that's awesome to hear 
think about uh, donating. Every little bit goes right into our clan, keep our website going, and keeps these videos coming out. We are a community-based clan. We are run strictly by community donations. So your donations, every little bit helps um, keeping our group going. So uh, yeah, take care and uh, see you guys on the battlefield.